Hello everyone, after my last two pizza oven mods I've been receiving lots of questions and requests from you guys asking me to shoot a new video showing you all on how to replace or modify the resistance of this oven here. So what I will be showing you today will be basically all the preparation work required for uh, the resistance replacement. We will be doing a proper thermal isolation of cables and all the plastic parts of this uh, spice caliente here plus some additional and helpful uh, mods. So we will basically see in detail uh, the plastic handle isolation, creation of new temperature knob, the support fit isolation, lateral stands isolation and uh, thermal isolation of cables. Plus uh, we will also look into a terminal block replacement and then some additional mods, optional mods that might be helpful for you guys anyway. So basically we will go through a pizza peel mod, steel worktop mod, creation of new custom wood handle. I will uh, add the timestamps uh, chapters uh, below anyway for you guys in the description so that you can easily navigate through the different mods of this video. Wow, that's a lot in this video. Yes, and there will be even more in the next video as I was uh, successfully able to bring the lower resistance on uh, top as you can see from this picture, but I'm still testing that. So stay tuned and subscribe if you want to know more about that. So let's now see in detail what we need to do for this mod here. Now let's isolate also this small stand right here since it's made of plastic we will be using these fiber washers okay with a couple of washers it should be fine Um 
one. Left foot is off now. You can probably see I used a couple of these uh, fiber washers for the stand on both sides. We also need the two small washers when we are mounting back the cover with these two screws so that's for an additional isolation same isolation applied to the left side as you can see We can now use the XI temperature uh, protection for our electric cables, just for additional safety. Okay, this should be enough in terms of uh, isolation of the cables. Uh, there are some people that uh, move the lead. So this lead here, as well as uh, this plastic, uh, red plastic, they move it basically on the left here. But for now we will leave it as is, so it should be working fine. What we can do now is to replace this uh, plastic connector with a ceramic one. This will be more capable of handling higher temperatures.
Okay, it fits perfectly. And here it is, ready for being tested. This little friend right here. Now let's put in the new handle. As we can see, our handle is ready. Obviously, if you find another one already built, it's even faster, like this one, for example. We can see that there was a long work in this video, but most of it is basically mandatory if you want to modify or replace the resistance. Also, please take care that if you wish to install a resistance higher than 1200 watts, uh, you will need some additional step, so like moving the LED into another location and insert some additional time isolation material in the upper door. Anyway, feel free to let me know in the comments below uh, what you think about this video and if you have any particular questions uh, for me. Also, let me know if you like to see this uh, new mod on how to move the lower resistance uh, to the um, other resistance together on top, therefore. And subscribe if you want to get notified about new upcoming videos. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you.